chicken nuggets, it's me Carl. Welcome to Grow uh, uh, TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grow TV. I'm so glad you're here. You're looking at me. I'm still here on a staycation. The state where you vac you were it's like va the vacation, but you're staying state uh, staycation. And to some of you, I know what you're probably thinking. Carl, vacation at home? That sounds terrible. Well, guess what? It's not. People spend millions of dollars of vacation by the uh, the beach. But guess what? I got a shower. People fly all around the world to see amazing things like circuses and mountains. Well, look at this. <laughs> Pretty amazing, huh? That's right. There's nothing better than good old fashioned uh, staycation. I mean, I've been making sculptures. Look at this. It's a pizza. Pretty talented, right? It's not really the size of a pizza, but I'm, 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 get, I'm getting there. And here's one I finished uh, last week. <sighs> it's all right. I mean, it's whatever. I'm not too in love with this one, you know. I'm getting better. His ear fell off on this side. Anyways. Oh, that looks awesome, Carl. Hey, thanks, Jada. How you doing, friend? Really well, actually. Was just checking in on you and seeing how your staycation is going. Oh, Jada, it's the best. I don't know why I don't do this more often. I will probably never leave the house again if it's an option. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't do that. What? Why not? Well, this break may be good for you now, but eventually we gotta get back out there and keep doing what God wants us to do. <laughs> I suppose. You learned that from the Bible or something? Sorta. Of. I guess. I just got done reading the story of Abraham and Isaac. Wait, do you mean Abram? No, I mean Abraham. I mean, I guess he was known as Abram before, but God changed his name. Uh, hold on. So Abram is now Abraham? And Abraham is Abram? You got it. His life's name was changed as well. God often does that in the Bible to show that the person has changed or grown in their faith in a really incredible way. That's awesome. Maybe one day I could be Carlito. Maybe. But another big change that happened to Abraham is that he finally had a child. He and his wife were much older and they thought having a kid was never going to happen. But just like we talked about last week, God blesses us more than we could ever imagine. No way. Abraham is now a dad? I think it was so fast. But it was at this time something really impactful was about to happen to Abraham and his family. You see, Abraham loved his son Isaac. He loved him so much, just like a dad should. But the question was, did Abraham love and value his own son more than he loved God? Was he protecting his son and holding onto him too tightly? We don't know for sure, but one thing we know is that Abraham's faith and love for God was put to the test. Wait, 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 wait. God has tests? I don't like tests. I didn't study. Am I gonna fail, Jen? Don't tell my mama I failed. Well, this isn't like a normal test. God was going to ask Abraham to do something that was difficult for him to do. Abraham was asked to trust God no matter how hard it was or even if he didn't agree. Oh no. I can already tell this is gonna be the hardest test of my life. Well, Abraham's life. Oh, it was. <laughs> you see, the test was asking Abraham to give up his son. To give up his son? Yep. Abraham was in a very tough situation. He had to choose, do I trust and follow God's instructions or do I disobey because I'm scared and unsure of what will happen? Oh man, I would not want to be in Abraham's shoes right now or sandals. What did he do? Well, he trusted God. He showed that he was ready to let go of anything, even his precious son, to obey God. So at just the right time, God sent a gift. A gift? Like a blessing? Yeah. God sent a ram that Abraham could give to God so that he wouldn't have to give up his son. Huh. Wow. So God never wanted Isaac to get hurt or Abraham to lose his son. God just wanted Abraham to trust. You're absolutely right. There may be times that we are tested too, but it's only in hopes that we rise to the challenge and grow in our faith. And through the growth in our faith, we can see more and more of God's infinite compassion. Compassion? 
Is that the fruit I've been hearing about? No, it's the act of caring and feeling for people when they are hurt or in need. We know God cares about us and because of the compassion God shares with us, and because of that, we can show compassion to others as well. Well, hey there, kids. Today's big idea is God always shows us compassion. Not sometimes, not every once in a while, always. So let's shout that big idea out on the count of three. One, two, three. God always shows us compassion. Nice job, everyone. Now, I gotta head out, but make sure to tune in next week on the next episode of Grill TV. See you next time. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Grill